Cancer Schmancer is, let's focus on how we can prevent cancer and teach people to find it early. My name is Fran Drescher. I'm a cancer survivor. Life offers you challenges and how you grow through it is what makes all the difference. A lot of other cancer organizations are focusing on research and prevention and treatment. Cancer Schmancer stands out as an organization that's really focused on early stage prevention. Stage one is the cure. Catch it on arrival. 95% survival. We see things in life that we think are real. But what is very real is what Fran speaks about. Cancer Schmancer is dedicated to ensure that all women with cancer will be diagnosed in stage one when it's most curable. Cancer Schmancer is more of a movement than an organization. It's about healthy women, healthy mothers give rise to healthy families. Healthy families have healthy children. It's about mobilizing women both locally and at the state level and also nationally and potentially globally. Fran has got a hold of something here that is going to make a big difference in how we look at cancer, in how we approach cancer, and hopefully how we put an end to it. Stage one is the cure. That this could happen to me, what about the woman in the low-income neighborhoods? What about the woman who's uninsured or underinsured? What about the woman whose English is not her first language? What about the woman who's a single parent and just trying to get food on the table to take care of her children? Something needs to be done. Cancer schmanza, people. Stage one is the cure. One of our big platforms is moving people from passive patient to active consumer. Because of Fran Drescher's book, Fran Saved My Life Last Year. <laughs> the mayor felt that this message was so powerful that he made several public service announcements. Did you know that one in three women will get cancer in her lifetime? Cancer Schmancer is a celebrity-driven organization. And by leveraging the high visibility of celebrities, we're able to reach millions of people at any given time through heavy media saturation. Nearly 80,000 American women are newly diagnosed each year with approximately 29,000 deaths from these cancers annually in the U.S. Fran's incredible contributions to saving women from uterine cancer by education and early detection is a tribute to her character. We give women license to say, I have to put my health and well-being first. It's important that women take control of their bodies. O somos un poco temerosos como en es mi caso, en mi parte yo tengo tenía miedo, no estuviera aquí, pero dije, yo soy mujer y que tengo que hacérmelos. In 2007, we were instrumental in getting the Gynecologic Cancer Education and Awareness Act passed by unanimous consent in Washington. In 2009, Cancer Schmanza created a partnership with Inner Images to send vans with mammography equipment into low-income neighborhoods in Los Angeles. The vans are going to be all across America, wherever there's a need. Wherever there's a woman that can't get the mammogram or a pap test, it will be available to her. And through Cancer Schmanza's partnership with Inner Images, this is what's made the Fran Vans Early Detection Program possible. The Fran Van goes out to clinics to uh, take care of underserved women. Educating women, motivating women, getting them to make their appointments, and then the van delivers mobile mammography machines to their local clinic. In 2010, Cancer Schmanza partnered with Project Renewal's ScanVan, providing screening tests for women in New York City. I believe their organization in New York saved 24 lives in less than one year. They went through thousands of people and 24 of them were detected at the early, early stage. It saved their lives. Government at this time of great economic crisis cannot do it alone. We need angels, and she is a true angel and a hero like Fran Drescher, to help us get health care out in our communities. It's an organization that's going to help our generation, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. And it affects so many people. It affects one out of every two men. It affects one out of every three women. People aren't being territorial when it comes to philanthropy. People are joining together, because only together can we really make a big impact. Everybody deserves the right to get screened for cancer early, because if you catch it on arrival, 95% survival. Absolutely. <laughs> Shifting the world's focus from merely searching for a cure to more immediate goals, education, prevention, 
and early detection. Saving lives today and in the process, turning passive patients into medical consumers. When I found out I had my cancer, uh, it was at the fourth stage already. And uh, I don't want anybody to be shocked like that. So I think anything that women and men can do to support what uh, Fran is spearheading with Cancer Schmancer uh, will benefit everyone. I think everybody loses one to, to cancer, and my family certainly is not unique. And she said uterine cancer. My mother had cancer. She was behind two young Way children. Too many friends. My brother died last year of late stage Way breast too many cancer. Many my father-in-law. The mine who's 31 years old died of breast cancer. I mean, I found my lung through self-detection. My mom had cancer. My college had roommate. Cancer. My mom uh, had cancer. My mother died of breast cancer. My grandmother, two of them, had cancer. It's not a woman's issue. It's a human issue.